Uh, hello, and welcome to our little demo stage here today. Um, hopefully your design summit and the uh, summit all together has gone as well as ours has so, so far. Um, we're here uh, today to talk a little bit about uh, Denabi and curvature, which you may have seen over at the Cisco booth already. Um, we're going to try to give a little bit of a demo and try and get some people to understand a bit more what curvature and Denabi is about. So, Curvature is our new age graphical interactive front end that we've been building over the last six months for OpenStack. We found that when people were using OpenStack, they were finding it very uh, complicated. There was a lot of data on the screen when using Horizon. So we've tried to abstract that out and give a bit more of a focus on what's actually running on your OpenStack and how things are connected together. And then we're going to show a little bit about Zanabi as well, which is our um, container structure, which allows people to deploy uh, using saved blueprints, complex topologies, and build other topologies using saved blueprints. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pass over to Brad, who is going to show you a demo of the main body of curvature. Yep. So uh, we're going to attempt a, a live demo, fingers crossed. Um, and we're just going to show you, first of all, exactly what curvature looks like. So uh, as you can see here, very familiar to anyone that's used Horizon. This is our login screen. We hit Keystone with our Keystone credentials, and we get back the service catalog, and that's how we determine all the endpoints of what to connect to. So it's a very simple configuration for anyone running this. All you need is your Keystone IP address. And you're presented with this, which is a network topology of what is already on our OpenStack deployment at the moment. But before I go into that, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the tools you can see in the upper left. So that's where we do the main interaction with Curvature. So you have the link tool, which you use to define a lot of the networking between components, the remove tool, obviously, to mark things for deletion. Uh, then you can see an images tag, uh, tab, which contains a list of all of your images from Glance. We're just using DevStack here, so there's just a Cirrus image. Uh, the network tab, which uses, uh, shows a list of all of the layer two and layer three network components from Quantum, so a router and a network but also as things like load balance as a service and firewall as a service comes in, there can be uh, nodes in there uh, for those things. Containers, which we're going to talk about with Denabe, uh, and volumes, which is a list of all of your Cinder volumes. So in terms of what's actually on the graph, you've got this big world icon. And if we just turn on uh, node labels, that will help, uh, help you see exactly what's going on. So the one marked public, um, that represents our external network, our public network. Um, then you have the router icons, which are the two test network uh, icons there. And then you have three networks. And the networks uh, are represented by the little cloud. And they have a color around them so that you can easily see exactly what is inside a network. So we've got a whole bunch of VMs uh, which are running inside each of those different networks. And this is particularly useful if you have a virtual machine running in two networks. So if we just link uh, one of those up, then it's really visible um, both by the link, but also the, uh, the overlapping, the holes, the colors um, overlap. And that looks particularly horrible, because everything is kind of overlapping there. But if you wiggle it about a bit, which is quite nice, <laughs> then it all seems to sink into place. So uh, let's walk through a little bit of a, a deployment using Curvature. So if we, uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to have a virtual machine inside a network connected to a router connected to the external network. And we're going to go ahead and deploy that. So we're going to go over to the Images tab, and we're just going to drag on an image. It's very simple. Now we're going to drag on a network for that image to be inside. So we're going to give that a name and associate a CIDR for the first subnet in that network. And we're going to hit the random button and hit Save. Then we're going to grab the link tool, and we're going to connect that virtual machine inside that network. So we can see that. The uh, virtual machine is now inside that network. And then we're going to grab a router as well and just place that on the graph and connect those up. So at the moment, you can see everything's blue. And that represents an undeployed state. We haven't actually communicated with OpenStack in terms of building these uh, components at the moment. Uh, and that's because we want to concentrate on building out and designing your topology before you deploy it so that you can make changes and so on. So now if we wanted to deploy that, we just hit the big deploy button, and it will, uh, Curvature will go off, and it will make REST calls to OpenStack, hit all of the APIs, and deploy it. So you can see the network and the router have gone black, indicating that they are deployed. And the virtual machine is orange because it's in a build state. 
And that's uh, essentially how we can uh, visualize um, all of the different components of OpenStack. And we also get this nice interactive live feedback. Uh, now what we might want to do that we have this uh, topology, we might want to give that virtual machine a floating IP address. So we associate floating IPs based on the external network. And we can just double click the, uh, the external uh, icon, allocate a new floating IP from its allocation pool. That's already happened. That's gone off to OpenStack. And now we can click on any VM that has a path to that external network. And we can select from a list of floating IP addresses that have been assigned and associate that virtual machine with that floating IP address. Hit save, and then that's all good. Now, we can also do lots of other cool things. Like if you click on any node, you'll be able to see a list of information, like such as its IP addresses, the type of image it was, uh, bring up a VNC console. Uh, we have a bunch of security things to do with key pairs and security groups, um, which we probably go into more depth uh, at our talk on Thursday. But now's a good inf uh, time to segue over to Denabe, which is a way of storing some of these network topologies. So yeah, let's show how we've integrated Denabe with Curvature. And what Denabe is, is a platform that sits separately from Curvature that allows you to design a, uh, a network topology with VMs, level two routers, and networks, and save and reuse that. So if we go ahead and open the new container builder, We'll start off with a very simple container. You can see we've got all the same controls that we have on the main graph. So if we add, say, two VMs and a network, we can drag those on, configure a network with a random CIDR. In this context, that means each instance of this container will get a different CIDR for that. And we can link them up in the same way. So what we want to do now as well is also mark the network as what we call an endpoint. And what this will do is expose that component on the outside of this container so that we can connect things to this container externally. So if we hit save and call this bottom layer, we can see if we go over to the container tools that that is ready to deploy. But we're not going to. We're going to explore a more complex container case. So if we hit the new container button again, we can see that we've got the containers tab, and we can add containers to containers. So if we add two instances of this, you can see the endpoint exposed on the outside there, colored green. We can add a router. Uh, network, network those up as you would expect with the two networks attached to the router. And mark that again as an endpoint. And if we save that as top layer. So what this does is um, these components haven't been deployed yet. They, that has just generated a blueprint and saved that in the Denabe component using its REST API. So let's go ahead and deploy the top layer container on our graph. So again, same as before, you can see the containers on the graph, um, the endpoint exposed on the outside. Um, we want to connect that to the XNet. And the blue state indicates that it's undeployed. So let's go ahead and deploy that container. Uh, so this takes a minute. So what's happening now is um, we've contacted Denabe to ask for this container blueprint to be deployed. And that will handle the deployment of the networks, routers, VMs, and all the containers inside it. And you can see it's gone black to indicate that that's up. So if we double click, we can take a look inside. We can drill further down the container structure. And if we click one of these VMs, we can see that it's got data. Um, we can click the network, or, or we can do the VNC. <laughs> uh, that just shows that that's up. And yeah, that's, um, that's curvature with Denabe. Um, thank you very much. So, uh, sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, so if you just want to click through to the next point, um, that's, uh, that, that's kind of a basic overview of uh, a quick demonstration of a, a standard workflow using Curvature and Denabi. Um, if you'd like to learn more about either of those services, we have a full presentation session on Thursday, uh, 11.50 AM, uh, room C120. Um, there's some information on uh, the Cisco website at either of those two URLs, or if you just uh, search for OpenStack Curvature with the first uh, link that pops up. 
or uh, come along to the booth and say hello. Um, we've got loads to say about either of these, and we'd love to hear your questions. So thank you.